Hey, what's up guys? If you guys like the way this crash cage is and how it looks on this bike, stick around and watch this video because I'm being shown you how to install them. This is all the stuff that came in a box. I got it from Amazon. It's from a company called Fate Express. These are the pucks that go on here after installation. I did notice it was a little bit of rusting there, but for what I paid for it, can't really complain. I plan to get it powder coated. I actually got them, I was looking to buy these for a couple months probably for like a month or two and I actually found them on sale somehow on Amazon for pay like 80 bucks and original price is like 190 I believe but we're gonna be installing them today so let's get to it guys all I'm gonna need I'm not 100% sure this is the first time I'm installing a crash cage of any kind on a motorcycle this is actually my first bike I've had it for about like two months but this is a 516 Allen key, 3 8 drive, a little extension, 3 8 drives obviously, ratchet, and the good old breaker bar in case you act up. But from what I've seen on YouTube and stuff, you're technically supposed to brace it from the bottom, that way when you take the bolts out, it doesn't drop down. I'm gonna try doing one at a time to see if I can avoid getting a jack because I'm being lazy and it's hot out so I'm trying not to move as much as possible. Number one because it's hot. Number two I'm sweating. Number three I'm sweating because I'm hot and fat. I'm just gonna take this one out, put it to the side. get the left side crash bar there's three different size bolts they're both they're all the same thread pitch m10 but for example the one that comes over here they're just different lengths this one's the m1090 the one that comes up here is the m1080 and then the one that goes on the bottom is a m1050 so I'm gonna need the longest one for that bolt that I just took out, which is this one. And a washer. So on the, on the factory bolt, there was this washer. I'm gonna just use this one from the factory bolt, only cause the ones that came with the packaging kind of look cheap. That one's actually kind of thick. I think this is like the thickest one they got. But, put the crash bar on. Put it, I'm just gonna put it in one hole for now and then let it kind of rest here for a minute until I get that bolt out, this one, and slide this one in. But I'm gonna put this one in first and try to see if I can do it that way. real careful not to cross thread them because this goes into the engine block and I don't think anyone wants to deal with that kind of headache so just be very careful let me actually back that out a little tiny bit that way it gives me a little room to finesse this side up. Right. These are actually not even on that tight. I thought they would be a lot tighter. 
but we got this one out now. I'm going to use the factory washer again and get. I'm going to refer back to the instructions. So the one that goes on the front of the bike is the M1090. The one that goes to the back, which is here, is the M1080, and on the bottom is the M1050. So we're going to need. Second shortest, second place, I should say. So again, you want to be very careful not to cross there. Now I can cross there at some with just my fingertips. Hoping. That would suck. Alright. That one's pretty tight. Tight-ish. Alright. They're going to have a little play. Now, this goes on the bottom. Now, for this one, you're going to need the smallest bolt and one of the washers that they supplied you. Because obviously, there's no bolt factor. So go on the other side really quick. Not really sure what happened with my video clip, but basically, there's a rod that goes through here. Blue, go over there. There's a rod that comes through here, like a bottom brace, and you just screw the shortest bolt into that hole. It's separate from the both of the crash cages. On it's you gotta do the same thing on the other side, but it's separate from the crash cage itself. It's just like a little brace that goes across. But the shortest bolt goes into there, and then you just keep tightening it. It'll spin, I guess. Just keep tightening it until it stops spinning. But for some reason, I lost all the footage about putting this crash cage on as well, which sucks. But just to recap, the longest bolt goes here towards the front, the middle bolt goes right here, and then the shortest bolt goes down here for the bottom brace. Now I got it, you gotta run it by like the oil view window and all that. As you can see, it kind of touches on this, the reservoir, antifreeze reservoir, plastic cover. But I mean it's like Barely touching pucks that go right here, and they have these little screws that come with everything. And for that, you need a four millimeter Allen key. I got it on a three eighth socket. at this point line this hole up with that hole and then just thread anyway we'll get back to you guys whenever this is all done so I'm upset I lost all the footage that I just did it's my first video so it's 
what's gonna happen. That's the finished product. It looks pretty good. Now, the only thing left to do is just go test it, you know? Pop a willy, all on purpose, of course. Pretty good.